Hey everyone, this is Zach Hample coming to you from Central Park with the ultimate tutorial on how to do the glove trick. Now if you go to games a lot, you'll see other fans using various types of devices. Some guys have cups, some guys have, you know, poles, whatever, to pick up baseballs that are out of reach. But this is a trick that I invented way back when I was like 14 years old. One of the very first devices that will pick up baseballs way far down below the stand. So let me show you how it works. Starts with a rubber band, a nice big one, size 117A. Look for it online, you'll find them. Stretch the rubber band over the tip of the glove. And as you can see, the glove is pancaking shut. So we need a way to prop it open. In comes the magic marker, okay? Stick that inside and you'll see that the glove holds open in this nice shape. Now, the idea behind this is that the rubber band and this tip of the glove forms a space slightly smaller than a baseball, okay? When the glove is lowering down, the weight of it is gonna push down over the ball and the rubber band stretches just to the side and the ball goes up in there and then the band bends back into place and it should, if you do it right, hold the ball there, okay? So that's how the inside of the glove trick looks. Two important things to keep in mind with the glove trick. Number one, practice this thing at home before you take it to a game. You don't want to be experimenting just based on my video when you're actually out there in the left field seats and there's a ball on the field below you. You got to make sure that you've already used it, tested it, and it's going to work. Bam! On the first shot. Okay? Now secondly, stadium security is something that you need to keep in mind. There are some ballparks that do not allow devices. For example, both stadiums in New York. I don't even bother bringing the glove trick to City Field and Yankee Stadium because security there, they're not fans of it, okay? But there are other places where it's totally fine to use devices like this. San Francisco, Pittsburgh, Turner Field in Atlanta, which unfortunately won't be around too much longer, Arlington, Texas. You just basically have to know. Sometimes you're allowed to do it in a gap behind the outfield wall, but not in the bullpen. Or you, you, you're allowed to take a ball right off the warning track, but you know not in another place at a certain time. So just be careful. It's good to ask stadium security first, or see if other fans are doing it. So listen, I'm not advocating for doing anything illegal or breaking the rules. I'm just showing you how the device works and you can take it from here and be smart and sensible about it. Now one last thing, some gloves are easier than others to use for the glove trick. So you just gotta play with it, adjust the marker, the band, find the right fingers to put it across, find out the best space to put your lanyard or tie the string, but I guarantee you, pretty much any glove can work for the glove trick. I alternate between two different gloves at Major League Games. I showed you the Rawlings Outfielder's Glove, which is nice and heavy. It pushes down pretty well over the rubber band. Here's my Wilson Infielder's Glove, which is not as heavy, so the rubber band has to be on there just right. If it's too tight, it won't let the ball in, and if it's too loose and the ball goes in, it might slip out. So again, these are the things that you have to practice at home. But watch this. Just to show you that it can work with any glove, we got the ball, we drop it down over, and it's in there. So, like I said, play around with it, you can make this thing work for sure.